Hey guys, hey guys, your girl here, Tanisha, sitting in my couch in my home. So I'm unboxing the 30 day one click funnel challenge. Um, so here's the book that you need to read. Okay. Then we have a MP3 player, which is amazing, which is also a um, USB, also two, okay? <clears throat> so this is the one funnel away. Now for all you marketers and digital marketers and people that want to do uh, marketing online, this is the stuff that you need, okay? This is the stuff that you need. So, and here goes what it tells us about. And then I have the two comma club coaching. And then I have the workbook, customize and execute. So it's basically breaking down funnels, okay? And you want to master funnels, okay? You want to master funnels because while you are working, while you at your job, while you on vacation, you want your funnels and your business to be able to run without you actually being there, okay? So this is the one funnel away challenge from either your six, your five, six, or seven figure business. When I first took this challenge, I made my first six figures. Now I'm taking it again. I'm looking to move over seven figures, okay? So, you can get this for a hundred bucks to teach you how to set up a funnel, how to build a five, six, or seven figure business. And these are tools that will be in your arsenal so that you can refer to as resources for your business, okay? But this video is simply about why college is outdated. Why college is outdated. Now, here's what I don't like. The colleges are ran by the government and the government honestly <laughs> does not really, the government is not really up to date on what's really going on. We live in a digital world where people do their research on Google and YouTube, not in encyclopedias anymore, not in dictionaries anymore. Dictionary.com, thesaurus.com, is this is where people go. People also go to wikipedia.com to do their research. So the government, in my opinion, is not up to date on the digital world. So in turns, in the elementary school, junior high school, high school, and college, and PhD level, people are not being taught the right things about digital stuff and where the world is going. So a lot of the jobs, Damon John said it, he said at least 50% of the people that are going to college right now to get a job in a specific field Okay, those jobs in the next five years will be non-existent. Now, here's how it works. I tell people, if you're going to go to college, don't worry about, oh, I want to be this or I want to be that or, you know, I like this. No, find out what's in demand. Find out if it needs a college or requires a college degree and then go for it. If it doesn't require a college degree and it requires on the job training, then go find a job or create your own job. What companies are now looking for are people that have experience. <laughs> They're not looking for people that have degrees because the companies are up to date on all of this stuff. The companies are understanding that they have to use social media. Companies are understanding that we are in a digital world. Companies are understanding that, that shit is just moving at the speed of light. But the government is not up to date. 
So the companies that are up to date on this stuff, they're struggling because they cannot find qualified people to help them grow their business in this digital world because people are coming out of college and not knowing nothing about the digital world. So companies are looking for people with experience, not degrees. So I tell young people and I tell other people who have children on their way to college, either you're going to send your child to a trade school where they can get a trade, whether it's in welding, building cars, doing hair, doing eyelashes, cooking, because those kind of jobs are not going anywhere, right? Being a doctor, you go to college to be a doctor, you know, being a lawyer, those kind of jobs are not going anywhere. Okay, all these other jobs, social work and administration and business administration jobs, those jobs are outdated. No one needs, you know, a business administrator anymore. They're looking for people who have experience. So if you have experience in marketing and advertising and understanding social media, the company is likely to hire you than someone with a four-year degree who learned nothing about the real world. See, here's the problem. Right. We fell into. OK, we fell into the propaganda that we need a degree to survive. I fell into it, too. I got a bachelor's degree. Took me six years to get it. End up owing the government almost twenty thousand dollars for a degree that really I don't even use. OK, so we have to as parents. OK, be able to provide our children with the maximum amount of opportunities. Now, as a parent, you need to be doing research. You need to be out there figuring out, okay, what jobs will be in demand in the next year, two years, five years, or 10 years. Because if you don't, you're just going to send your kid to college and be happy that they're in college and then they get out and now they're still living with you. You still have to take care of them because they don't have any type of skill or they don't have any type of experience that can help them land a high paying job. So, as a parent, you should invest, okay, in your child's education now by investing in yourself to do the research to see what's out there and what's working. So, like I said, for this one funnel away child, it's a hundred bucks. It's teaching you about digital marketing. It's teaching you about building your own business or building someone else's, you know, business. This will help your student or, I mean, your, your, your child to actually get some knowledge, about digital stuff. They can put that on their resume. They are knowing about digital marketing. Now, if you have a company where the CEO is like 75 and they don't want to put money behind their marketing on social media, then maybe that's the job you want to go work for. But I don't want to work for a 75 year old, a 65 year old who don't even know how to turn on a Facebook, who don't even know how to set up an Instagram account. So the world is changing, guys. Children that are over 18 years old truly don't want a job. They truly want to do what they want to do. So if you allow them to gain a skill, okay, and if you allow them to be a free thinker and go win, then guess what, guys? You will feel better as a parent, okay? You will feel better as a parent that you gave your kids a head start and not just hoping that the white government or the white colleges for them to go get a white job, you'll feel more better that your children are gaining a skill that is relevant in the world. So for me, my daughter, I bought her two courses, how to do e-commerce and how to have other companies, how to uh, help other companies do e-commerce. So she's learning that now. By default, right, if she pursues it, now she'll get experience in doing an e-commerce agency. Now, my daughter's graduated from high school. She still wants to go to college. So I said to her, is your field on demand? This is where I had a conversation with my daughter. Do you want to do something that is a field that's on demand? So she said she want to be a bakery chef. Okay, well, in my brain, you don't need a college degree to be a bakery chef. You can actually learn that stuff for on-the-job training. Now, my daughter, she wants to go to college. She wants to get the experience. She wants to, you know, see how it is to be in college and all of that stuff. I'm not paying $100,000. i am not paying $200,000. i am not even paying $50,000. i am not paying $10,000 to no college that's not teaching dated information. Period. I told my daughter that. 
okay? If she ain't getting no scholarships, guess what, baby? You gonna learn how to do an e-commerce business, okay? So, at the end of the day, guys, we have to have our own peace of mind as parents. Yes, we were brought into go to college, but if college is not teaching us, guys, what we need to know to survive for another 50 years, then going to college is not the best option. Okay, and then you get in debt of you know twenty, thirty, a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars that you can never get out of. Now the government, here's what's happening with student loans. The government is now garnishing people's check. If you're in forbearance and you're in default, the government literally is now garnishing your check, and there's nothing you can do about it. So the people that are struggling right now to pay their student loan, they're gonna struggle even more. So you don't wanna put your child in that predicament. You don't wanna put your kid in that predicament, okay? You want your kid to have many options so that they can know there's many options besides just college. They can buy a course online or they can go to a trade school. Okay, my daughter, I bought her two courses. I always buy courses and I always provide courses to other people. So case in point, Ebony, she's young, thriving. She's a teacher, right? But guess what? <laughs> it took her four years to get a degree and she don't even want to do teaching. So she bought a course from me because she understands that, you know what? I need to be ahead of the game and the school system is not allowing <laughs> the teachers to be creative to talk about digital stuff or to talk about the dated stuff because the school system is outdated. The people at the top that's creating these curriculums are outdated. So the, so the teacher is limited to what they can actually teach. So Ebony, as a teacher, she said, you know what? I need multiple streams of income. I need to buy me a course. So she invested in my course. And now in one year, she made over $85,000 in something that is relevant. Right? See, my courses are all up to date. When I teach social media, I'm teaching social media marketing, Instagram marketing, Facebook marketing, blogging, YouTube, Craigslist, advertising, free and paid. My Amazon, I'm teaching people how to be a part of the digital world, the digital money. Okay, when I have my black wealth class, I'm talking about history, black history, so that we know or we get a chance to learn where we come from. Okay, so that we can know where we're truly going. And I talk about ways that you can now attract money into your life. Then I have how to make money course for a hundred dollars, how to make money online. Okay, literally, it's Instagram marketing, promoting a free digital book or free physical book on the experts in digital marketing. And now you're able to put that on your resume. So your 15 year old can take my classes. Your 12 year old can take my classes. You need to invest in one of my classes so that you can be up to date because the alternative is you're going to go to college spend 20 grand, spend 100 grand, and guess what? You're gonna have outdated skills. So this is $100, you can actually click on the link below. Okay, you get an MP3 player of all digital things. What's working now in the digital world, okay? How to build your funnel, it gives you like a thank you letter, okay? It also gives you a worksheet and a workbook, guys, for $100. Okay, a hundred dollars. College, if you had to get all of this, would probably be around 20 grand. And then you gotta go to a teacher to teach you stuff that they don't even know and they not even they don't even want to be there. So for a hundred bucks, now this is only up until the 24th. So that is what is that? Next Wednesday. So February 24th, they're gonna close the doors because here's the thing. They only want to work with the people that saying, you know what? I want to learn a new skill. Okay. So you can get this, click on the link below for a hundred bucks. If you want to learn how to be a part of the digital world with Amazon, go to createmyowneconomy.com. If you want to learn how to make money on Instagram, doing digital media, 
Go to paylikeTanisha.com. See, I'm going to always be relevant because I'm always investing in myself to get the relevant information. I know I cannot go to college and get another degree. I have a bachelor's degree already. The only reason I got a bachelor's degree because my aunt, mom, grandmother, everybody said, oh, you got to go to college. So I did, <laughs> you know, but if I would have knew where the world was going, trust me, guys, I can have an extra $10 million and I sure wouldn't be living here in New York. Okay, so we got to stay relevant, guys. Companies are staying relevant. The problem is, like Damon John said, Mercedes Benz took 18 months to find them some people that they needed to do their stuff for because there were nobody. Because no one's getting the information. No one's getting the right education because college is outdated. College is outdated. College is outdated. Okay? College is outdated. You can it don't take four years. It don't take 12 years. Now, if you want to go to school to be a doctor, yes. Okay? <laughs> go to school to be a nurse, yes. Because there's certain things in the medical field that changed in the technology and i think i spoke to one of my nurse friends and she said that the schools are just now in the nursing field and medical field just getting up to date on the technology so you will be able to still be a nurse and a doctor okay if that's what you want to do go to school to be that but a cpa business management um psychology social media no <laughs> no no, you don't need to go to school to learn social media, guys. You can get this and learn social media. You can get this and learn social media. You can get this and learn digital marketing. That's all social media is. You don't have to go to school for a marketing degree because all they do is teach you how to do billboards and TV ads. Nobody even watch TV anymore. Nobody even watch billboards anymore because they're too busy on their phone when they're driving. Right? So we got to get ourselves relevant in the world. If we don't, we can't depend on our job or the government or college to make it, guys. Because college eventually will get up to date, but this can take another 10 years. Because guess what? Colleges now have to adopt what the government says. If the government ain't saying do it, the colleges ain't going to do it. Because guess what? Colleges still make money. It's a business. They're only in business to make money. They're not in, in business to educate people. They're in business to make money. Okay? I'm in business to educate people. I just saw Amazon Prime truck just now. <laughs> I'm in business to educate people and wake people up. College is in business to make money. They're not in the business to help and educate people. If they were, they would be up to date. Again, it's going to take them at least five to ten years to get up to date because they have to now train people, train professors. That means professors are going to have to go back to school and learn the right stuff or they're going to hire other people that already know the stuff and then put them into the school system and they got to change their curriculum. So that's going to take some time unless the government gets all new young people in get rid of all those old hags all those old bags that's in the government that can't even hardly see that need a cane to walk if they change it to new young fresh idea millennial people then it will change faster but till then we have an outdated system from pre-K to college, guys, our children are not learning anything about social media. They're not learning anything about cybersecurity. They're not learning anything about business, building businesses, or helping a business to grow. They're not learning that. They're not learning anything about money. You need money, you need a skill set, and you need to be able to solve problems. That's what matters, and that is what's relevant in the world. School from K, from pre-K to college, graduate college, which is PhD, is not teaching dated information. It's all outdated. People are coming out of college with $20,000 to $100,000, $200,000 in debt, can't pay it back because they can't get a job 
and what they went to school for. And now they feel like, oh, I got to go back to school to get a degree when the first one did not work. I wish that we were able to get our money back from going to college if it didn't work. But again, it's the government and the government is only in business to make money. Just like the government's in business to make money by selling medications to people that do not work. The government is only in business to make money, not help people get healed. Like the guy said on what the hell, they're in the business of, of, of treating sick people, not healing people, not curing people. They're in the business of treating sick people to make sure they stay sick. So that's how they get rich. College is in the business of just providing a building for people to go to for four to 12 years. Not really providing any substance. Now, here's the thing. If you go to a prestigious college, you can actually go for the connections, not for the education. Prestigious colleges also are outdated and they're charging a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars. Lawyers are outdated. Out the information that they're getting is outdated. It is over 44, I think it's like 44,000 lawyers graduating a year, and it's only like 10,000 real lawyer jobs. So what happens to all those lawyers? Now they hustling to try to get a job. They hustling to work at a law firm. All that stuff is just ridiculous, okay? My thought is that you go, if whatever you want to be, you want to be a cook, you want to be a lawyer, you want to be a doctor, you want to be a nurse, you want to be a hairstylist, you want to be a, a, a mechanic, you want to be an a engineer, you want to, you know, uh, you know, fix cars, you want to fix computers, whatever. Whatever it is that you want to do, guys, go to those places first. Go see how it's operating. Go volunteer at these places. Go volunteer for six months. Go volunteer for a year. Go volunteer for 90 days just to make sure this is what you truly want. Because a lot of people think they want to do this. And then once they get the degree, they really, they understand now, damn, I really don't want to do this. And then guess what? They wasted time, money, and energy when they could have been doing something else. So you want to be a hairstylist? Go volunteer at a hair salon. If you want to be a doctor, go volunteer at a hospital, okay? You want to be an engineer, go volunteer at a company or go volunteer, you know, at a car dealership, okay? To get you some experience, volunteer. Don't do it for money, okay? Because you need to know what you're looking to do. You need to know what you want to do. So you go, now if they give you a stipend or something of that nature, then of course you'll take it. But you're going there to get experience. You're not going there to sweep floors and all that other crap. You're going there to do hands-on things. Companies will take you as a volunteer. Hairstylists, barbers, okay? Schools, you want to be a teacher? Go to the schools and volunteer. Ask them, can you volunteer in the classroom? If you have a child and they're there. Go to the school and volunteer if you truly want to be a teacher. See what the day-to-day -day operation is. See how it's really working. Interview the teachers. Interview the um, principals. Interview the CEOs of the companies. Interview the doctors so that you can get so you can be well-rounded. And not just one track minded when you get out of high school. And guess what? The high school dropout rate has went up. Because the kids know. They're like, school is stupid. Teachers are not teaching us shit we need to know. We can go on Google and spend 40 minutes and learn algebra. Learn addition. Learn subtraction. Learn multiplication. You don't need 12 years. 40 minutes on Google, you can learn addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And that's all the math that you actually need to live a successful life in the world. Social studies, Google it. Science, Google it. In the world, the real world, not the school world, in the real world, all you need is basic math, basic 
science, basic information. You don't need all the sophisticated shit. You get a mortgage, <laughs> you get a car note, you get insurance, you learn how to invest money, you learn how to make money, you learn how to keep money, you learn where money come from. That's all that really matters. Trigonometry and all these advanced classes and all these advanced sciences and all that stuff is not relevant, guys. It's a sad shame that the government is not up on it. And quite frankly, I don't even think the government give a fuck about getting up on it because they still making trillions. So <laughs> why fix something if it's still working? But again, the American people have to wake up. All you guys who want to send your kid to college, oh, they want to be, you know, if they want to be, you know, some foolishness that's not going to, you know, even benefit them in the next 10 years, they don't need to be it. Doctors, okay, nurses, cybersecurity, okay, and computers. Doctors, nurses, doctors, nurses, cybersecurity, engineering. Okay, and of course, restaurants, you're going to always need food, you're going to always need a cook, you're going to always need a chef, you're going to always need someone to do your hair, you're going to always need someone to do your nails, or you could be a housekeeper. You don't got to go to college for that. Just start marketing yourself as the best housekeeper or landscaper. You don't need a college degree for that. Just start marketing yourself as the best landscaper or mechanic. Start marketing yourself as the best mechanic. Marketing is where the skill set needs to be at. So college is outdated. It's outdated, guys. Before $100 up until the 24th of February. If you're watching that February, you can't get it. So you might as well get my Paid Like Tanisha course, PaidLikeTanisha.com course, where I'm teaching you how to be a part of a system, a digital system, that I'm teaching you how to be a part of Instagram. How to do digital marketing so that you can get some of that experience and you can put that on your resume if you decide to go look for a job. Jobs are looking for people with experience, not degrees. Because the companies understand that the schools ain't teaching us shit. So you get this MP3, you can listen to digital marketing stuff, and you can read this book. Here's the thing, in college they got big ass, thick ass books that you got to read. And you get no information. With this, I guarantee, this helped me make six figures. I guarantee, guys, if you get this book, okay, and you go through this book, and you start building your business, you can help other people build their business, guys. I am guarantee you can get five to six, seven, eight. People have got to nine figures with this one funnel away challenge information. That's only $100. You don't have to take out a loan for it. You're not going to go in debt for it. And this literally can bring you money for decades and decades and decades to come. You can hand this down to your children. Your children, they want to know information like this. And now you have the opportunity to get it and go help them to win and have more options in the world, guys. So click on the link below, okay? Go to successlevelcoaching.com. You can see... My opportunities that I'm a part of, you can get into uh, my academy, which is Financially Lit Academy. I also have a show called Financially Lit TV where I give tips and tricks in helping people understand how money works. Okay? So college is outdated, guys. And too bad that people are not opening up their minds to see new and better opportunities in the world. The world is moving to digital everything guys soon there won't be cell phones they're gonna be watch phones you know how they got the watches now they're gonna have watch phones so you won't even have a cell phone everything will now be on your watch ups fedex all of those companies they're gonna be literally dead <laughs> because amazon prime trucks will now take over uber will be done because there will be self-driven cars. By the time she's 18, she's not interested in no job. It's going to be flying cars, flying planes every damn where, okay? And literally, we probably have flying houses. Who knows? So, you have the opportunity and you have, okay, 
<clears throat> the opportunity to be able to now help your children to become well-rounded and see all opportunities. And you also have the opportunity to let yourself see all the opportunities that we have in this world. This world is filled with opportunities. Only those who have the open mind will be the ones who go seek and go grab and go get the opportunities. Those that do not open, have an open mind, will not see money, will not see opportunity, and will continue to live in lack, and will continue to live by what their job or the government is telling them to do. My job and my duty, guys, is to open up your mind, open up your heart, so that you can live a better life. Simple as that. So, make sure you get your 30 day challenge is 100 bucks make sure you get a course that is relevant way relevant in college and i'm helping people make 50 60 70 thousand dollars from my courses their first year you could spend four years 12 years in college learning nothing get out making nothing or you can invest in a class or a course for you and your children so everybody can go make money and win. See you guys in the next video.